All right, take two. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, this time no one will abandon. So what are, you uh you put another point into what is it? Warcraft? Yeah, I did. So yeah, I did. Yeah. So, only the. Would armor you recommend holding that? that in the cooldown, okay. But in that lane, I don't think you needed it just because it was an axe and his spin is now uh your damage. Right. Okay. So because Sven is definitely one of those heroes that you can go stats on, or just right, like okay. or just forego. <laughs> Depending on how your lane's going, you can. Uh, prioritize maxing cleave over war cry. And I think that's definitely one of the lanes you might have been able to get away with it. And almost all the, the, the pros now are just skipping putting any extra points into Stormhammer. <clears throat> okay. Just yeah. because it only scales with damage. Like the Wait. durate the cooldown's the same and stun duration is the same. So uh, just just to go back to that Max and Cleave first, mm -hmm. is the kind of theory behind that you want to kind of you want to you want to obviously effectively push your lane, um, obviously securing the last hits, but like pushing you away from a scenario where you're beside Axe and creeps. So by pushing the the get killing the the, the creeps first, Axe is effectively just going to be beside your own creeps, but you'll 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 probably rotate to. A camp or something, for yeah. example. Once you once you get to level five and you'll have three levels in cleave when you go this yep. build, you'll be able to clear that creep wave quickly. And you'll obviously be able to get away from it quicker. And then yep. while Axe is clearing the rest of your wave, unless you're zoning him out, you can go clear a jungle stack or whatever. Because right. you had enough regen, okay. you had four tangos, you had a salve. You can clear right, the small okay. camp, you can clear the hard camp there. Okay. And, uh, right, that makes sense. Yeah. And then also the reason why you can go this cleave build is because once uh offlaner at some point well maybe not an axe but most offlaners at some point once they hit six or whatever they're gonna go off looking for ganks probably not in your lane and at that okay. point you just want to clear that wave and just start pushing that tower and cleave lets you do that really well okay and you also have god strength and it's more than worth it to use god strength early just to push a tower right yeah Hope I don't lag. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually I was actually so bad. <laughs> This guy connects. Hopefully. Pick. 
Another pudge, huh? <laughs> Another pudge. <laughs> And hold it on for as long as I can. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get stolen. So then, I mean, it's not the hardest thing to counter him, but yeah, he can still sure. do pretty well against Most people. people. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Looking like I'll prepare for battle. Support less track, maybe. <laughs> oh, another disconnect. <clears throat> um, um, I like your yellow more than theirs right now. Yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> um, team, team kind of seems a little greedy. I don't know if you just go as greedy, but thirty seconds to battle. So you're doing the good thing. You come to the off lane. You just make sure that <clears throat> they're not placing a ward. Uh, I'm very much an off lane player, and that's always disheartens me when I come here to place a ward and their carries over here or their supports yeah. over here are already looking to see if I'm gonna place it. It's always nice to <laughs> just get away with it green place it. So that's a good thing. Jungle Axe. So just looking at this right now, <laughs> Sven does really well, is going to do really well against Lion and uh, Ashrak. Ashrak low HP, you're going to burst him down pretty much the all throughout the game. Begins. Yeah, it is decent what? against you. Early yeah. game, before she has more points in a uh, Blur, or, or Evasion, it should be fine. Then later game, you're probably gonna want to try and get like that. If if you're farming well, go for like a fourth or third item MKB. Yeah, for sure. Definitely still go that. Go search. We talked about. Yeah. And First Sven's really good against Alchemist because Alchemist has like no regeneration, but you can burst him down if you Wait. have God Strength. Oh, mute. Offlane out. And uh, did you check his items? How much regen does he have? Just of agility. Except of agility. And what, just tangos? Yeah, just tangos. Okay. So you have much more armor than him. So even if there's a full group wave, you're probably gonna wanna do it once you kill at least one. So you're gonna wanna just start hitting him when he comes to the group wave. You don't wanna draw aggro and then not get any hits on him. Okay, okay. You don't wanna I want to try and minimize the missing glasses too. So you just want to start smacking it here. Very good. Low armor, he's not an off lane hero, you should just punch the shit out of Alright, I was about to say, he messed yeah. it up, but pulled it back together. That yeah, was perfect. So, that's perfect. Hold it. No, you, can, uh, you can probably tank this right here and just kill it. Yeah. And honestly, in this lane where... You go for cleave. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've seen, like, normally Sven's, like, it's not huge. You just put the points in it right away. Push the wave yeah. and you get the hits on the other on the enemy, but... If you control this wave really well without it, without putting points into it right now and just holding those skill points, you can yeah. make this alchemist have absolutely nothing, as opposed to having levels. 
Great, for sure. Definitely, you want to be denying your creeps a little bit. You should really want to keep the wave right in front of the tower. And Sven, you have enough armor that if right now, so they're going to have more creeps, you can definitely get away with um, tanking the creeper. Right, so you got a situation where you have uh, two range creeps. Pudge is going away. So if it gets into a situation where your wave is near the... Try and kill this wave quickly, and then you're going to try and pull the hard camp. Okay. I don't know. Kill that really quick and then go to the hard camp. And you're gonna be a little late on the pole, so bring it through these trees here. Like, maybe just bring it straight up. No, I should have waited to get hit. No, it's fine. No. You, got, you got the majority of the way, that's fine. I might have, you might have should have gone the other way. It was close. No, so that's perfect. You're gonna bring the wave back to yours. So it looks like Alk is gone, and so it might be a good time to just point some your people. <clears throat> this is gonna be one of those things is where it's early, so you don't have the greatest pushing tower. So when your creeps get to the tower, um, you should be going over to farm. Alk is just gonna Would you get a uh, morbid mask, mask over a, 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 a the helm? Mission talk. Um. I think the. Uh, I usually like the uh, mask first. You're sure the creeps aren't hitting yourself with it. And you can honestly probably um, more heavy, but... Your top tower is under attack. Let's go back to the way for this game. Yeah. So one thing I always find that when I'm playing the carry and I'm just going for those last hits is I kind of lose track of what's going on the map. Do you know attack. who's mid on the enemy team? Uh, actually that's true. I've not been really paying attention. Yeah, yeah. So, so right there. now the mid is lost track. So that tells you a couple things. He's not support. Obviously, uh, that was not a good move. Because you're not doing enough damage. Oh, he turned around and killed himself. So maybe he will. Ooh. He had just run. He I think uh, you definitely right? need plus one if you're gonna get that kill. Okay, okay. strength, but you didn't have the mana for it. Your middle tower is under attack. What do you use for uh, camera control? Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty unconventional. I use the side. Um, my. 
use that WSD to move right. my. That's what, that's what I use actually. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's pretty unconventional. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people don't use it. And it's one of those things people always say, like, this is good. Um, Should have actually pulled that, I think, a minute. Would, and you waited too long. Yeah, I don't think sure. it's gonna stay. So, really? It might have. Oh, yep. Pulled a one second too early. But. Um, yeah, I don't know, people always say that, you know, you have less hotkeys, but... Tower is under attack. So. Yeah, I mean, I try, I did try to, like, go back to, what's it, well, not go back to, but try and coerce the QWER, um, but I can get used to it. I'm, I'm, I'm far too used to just no, yeah. moving my camera. Yeah. And so, <laughs> your team's doing really well. Yeah, for sure. Pudge is rotating, he's getting stuff done. Help this uh, off lane out. So, because your team's doing so well, and they don't yep. have the greatest pressure on you, your goal is just to be as efficient as, as efficient as possible and get as much farm as possible. And then come out around like 15 to 20 minute mark with Blink plus one other item. Yep. Hopefully, yeah. you know, by 25 latest. Right, money you should ideally have it. I would just go for this. Would you um ult for this or hold it? Uh, I don't think you need it for this one, especially since Queen's help. Stealing all your farm. <laughs> oh. There you go, there you go. Show me spots. <laughs> Yeah, you might be able to trap him in there. There you go. Nothing you need to stun there. Trap. Oh, look at that efficiency. Dude. Like, that was beautiful. So you're doing things really well. Stacking. You're not forgetting to stack like a yeah, lot so, of sense uh, do. I can't be bad for it, but yeah. try to drill into it. Might wanna. Right. <clears throat> so you have enough for your treads now, and I would possibly think about just getting it yourself a clarity. Not to you and a TP. Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. And uh, a TP. I would get a TP too. Okay, that was a bit <laughs> inefficient. Now, just gonna. And because you are you got really good levels, you got good farm, if for whatever reason they're pushing somewhere else, which they probably will be, probably gonna be leaving you alone, if, they, if two or three of them start diving a tower, you can definitely TP to that lane. You really like yeah. it. Kills. Cool, my creep unfortunately died. I think I must have left it inside the entrance. Sure. Yeah, you didn't get your uh, clarity, so you might want to sell your Thangos. The sideshow. Or put them on the courier. Yeah, yeah. Be mindful of what, uh, what your treads are on right now. Wait, keep them in IG when you're walking away. Yeah, when you use your clarity, you're fine. Or you can be on strength, it's fine, I'm just saying. You want right, to okay. be, be on strength, right? Your middle tower has fallen. You're already low enough with mana that it's not really gonna matter. <laughs> it might have been better to buy a mango, but. Because then, uh, I can't really do this stack. Yeah. So, you definitely don't want that to get cancelled by Lion right now. Your middle tower has You might just cancel attack. it anyways. On strength oh. right now. Okay. Sure. I gave you a bit more mana when you when you when you do color too. <clears throat> it's just you don't want them on uh, uh in here. Up. 
So you need 240 mana to do your stun and dodge strength. Your and when you're you got such low attack, attack speed, and uh, I got this stage in the game. If Lion's here, hey, I see it. Check what I it, check what I, I think he's a bracer. You know, just tanks, but you definitely want a god strength before you toss it. Rope the wrong tree there. <laughs> Wicked. This is gonna be really good. You're gonna want to farm this with your wave, I think. Because your one creep's not gonna hey. kill the enemy wave. Hey, so you would you pop ult? Uh, oh, it's up to you. I think. Take the final. Oh. Here's mine. <laughs> there you go. Then you wanna go get the enemy creep wave under your tower. Your top tower is under attack. Oh, my creep died again. <laughs> What's happening to my creep? You go Echo Saber, yeah, Echo Saber now. I would blink first. Blink first, okay. I'll go blink just to get kited easily as fun. And to yeah. be able to just dodge try and jump on someone uh, this early, especially you're about to have uh, level 2 dodge strength. Like, you can definitely kill anyone. Right. So Lion's missing right now. Your team's diving bot. My ear may not be here. Definitely, you're going to want to go to the in between the tier 1 and the tier 2. You should have gone in between the tier 1 oh, and really? the tier 2 to clear okay. the wave, yeah. Fresh yep. So if your team's diving, you're fine, you're pushing. It's not close enough to your wave, your whole team's alive, you're fine, you're pushing. I would dodge strength for this time. Dodge strength, okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm only actually... That's another thing I'm about FA about. You're fine. Just... That's beautiful. That's exactly what you You want to be on strength traits here. Like agility, like it gives you like the attack speed sign. Like agility. I don't know. You hit harder. You better be careful because PA's here now. Yeah, so between sure. the stun and the, the slow. Let's see if we're just doing this. Uh, bad spot. Your top power is under attack. You got your blink coming. You're gonna be in the same situation where you won't have the mana for your combo, but you should. Because you're just farming, right? You can even buy, like, the Sage's Mask or whatever. You don't need your stout shield anymore. Oh. It's a Sage's Mask again. Well, <laughs> here goes that stack. Blink Echo Saber, God Strength should kill pretty much anyone on their team, except for maybe Alchemist when he's got his arm went on and he's full health with it. Great.
So at this point, your gotcha is gonna be coming about ten minutes. So after you farm this, you're gonna want to look for a kill. You definitely need the. Okay. Right. So right now you're in the dark farming their agents. So you just want to be careful. They were all yeah. around that here too. You see that they're mid. Um, depending on who it is, it was purple and I'd say lion. Boys, that's a sure sure. track. You can definitely get a kill. I see they're going on this shop there. This is, I think you can do it. Your boss is under nice, nice, nice. Just keep running out of your fine. You're so tanky. Your bottom tower is under Your bunk's gonna be up in two seconds. Wanna prioritize going for Your bottom tower is falling. Your bottom tower is under attack. If you're gonna have enough for stun, I would go for the line for stun. It's too late. Your oh. bottom tower nope. Back out. is under attack. Nope. Oh. For your next god strength, you want to look for the stack that you have going. Okay, okay. So, always make use of your ulti. Like, you know, have that kind of like, have a period of time where it's off cooldown, so try and look for a kill when you have it. Yeah, when, when you have god strength, you either want to look for the kill or you're going to farm one of your stacks. Okay, okay. At this point, you can farm regular jungle stacks without it. But you're definitely uh, you're going to want to stack that one more time and then pull god strength for it. Okay. So go through the hard camp right now. God strength. You gotta be on strength treads. <laughs> I don't know why. Anti mage is the only hero that I uh, appropriate. Yeah, anti mage, you gotta, you gotta tread switch on and definitely spend. Other heroes is just uh, an efficiency thing. I would stay around the stack. You should clear it out. Because you're really close to your. You got your Echo Saber, and it's just like this extra farm is gonna bring you to your. Um, Either BKP or whatever you can Your team's got it, your team's got it. Yeah, let's go up to him really well. Drink threads. You need more time for this as well. Well, probably not. Drink threads. Yeah. Like that. 1k gold in your pot. Under attack. I'd farm this up, probably go back, get a TP, TP out, your top a TP back out under attack. field, and then with your team to push. Silly question, does um, Agri's Treads give you faster movement speed? Your top tower is under attack. Uh, it's pretty efficient, yeah, I guess. See where that curry's going? Yeah. Someone's over there. Should look for that. Because two people, it means they were alone. Could have been this. Yeah. Let's see what their items are. Do so you guys see what you guys see what the other carry's at right now? Their PA? See what MC's got, see what Leshrex's at. You gotta got know what they're at. Wait. If Lion's got a blink dagger, vastly it changes who you're gonna go on. Okay, okay. Especially in these fights, like PA, she's got what level is PA? Do you know? He is 11. So she probably only has one point in blur. She might have, or at any more level she has, she's definitely out. So it's gonna be really hard for you to hit her. God strength. So she might not be the best person to jump. I think the best jump targets for you are Lion and Must Track. Start a fight. Because after you kill Lion, they have very few disables. Okay. okay. So I guess that's something that I'm not the best that is gonna prioritize my target. Your team really needs to start grouping up and pushing. You guys got a 13 kill lead. 
of a good advantage of it. Really good because you're so smart. You guys need to start taking objectives, whether it be Roche or Tom. Radiant structures are fortified. Uh, that and might would just I be going? Me. I, you might have to. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> off to talk to them. I don't know how it works. Did you say um, BKBs next time? Yeah, BKBs definitely good here. Beat out ox stuns and stuff. You won't get slow. Oh. Get over it! Crush me! No! That's why I'm crying. And you are nothing. You ult for this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, try to switch that. Oh, yeah. Just try to switch for it. I mean, you got the Echo Saber now, so your mana regen's actually pretty good. Pretty much the only one on your team that's allowing your team to rush this game. Because it's good strong, so. Should I take the, the Aegis? Yes. Completely weak. <laughs> It's <laughs> one of those things where you ended up getting a lot of levels in lane more than you probably should have. But hey. you didn't have any supports, so you had to fix hey. something. Like Mid, okay, so. That's where your team is right now. Then you can always just go out afterwards. Yeah, it's a thing, it's right something else. Top, top. So it might be one of the situations where you push it quick. I wouldn't jump your yet, just tower. tower. Is under attack. Wait, I, your team is perfectly fine with getting initiations. Oh. Your top tower is under attack. <laughs> so it's one of those situations now. I think you're going to jump in and just blow someone up. I wasted my my son for that. Oh, I would just push with your god strength. Okay, for sure. You should kill him. The enemy's nope. middle tower has fallen. Your bottom tower is under attack. Good dreads. <laughs> Probably leave it to chain it. Chain this. Ages and your god strength is up, so your team can definitely take back. Hey, okay. It's one of the same. Alright, I guess you can push bot too, it's fine. Oh, bot is yeah, Your team definitely should have stayed together with Ages. I don't know how low it was, but that can shit. And one thing I always forget, which I actually forgot to mention, <clears throat> is you definitely should have gotten Roche Timer. No one, uh, Okay. I, I always forget too. Yeah. Uh, it's 
it's really important to know when your Roche or your Aegis is gonna run out. And like that can be like such a huge difference is if you know you have like 40 seconds left, you can dive in without God strength. Or not dive dive, but you can go for a play where you know they waste all their spells on you and even though they kill you, your Aegis is gone. But it only had 20 seconds on left anyways. And then you can go come BKB and God strength onto it now, so. You don't know which what time it is. But your, your team should definitely at this point get the frags. They're missing a player, you have ages, you have god strength, everything's up. This should be the game right here. I pop uh, BKB going into the fight or save uh, it? I would save it until your ages is gone. Unless Okay. It... Yeah, of course for sure. That makes um, sense. It's one of those situations where we don't know what's going So it could be hard to no. like, Generally speaking, if you've got Do your ages, you wanna wait for afterwards. Someone needs to, I think your Pudge should initiate. Your Pudge needs to initiate for this fight. They got really good wave clear with the less track and acid spray. And yeah, so sure. your Pudge needs to find initiation. And to see if he if he hooks someone, like an alchemist or something, what I was saying is he initiated the Sven, you could very much uh, like he hooked Alchemist. Or if you went on Alchemist, you can jump into the back lines and just kill their supports. Right. So they yeah, can't stop sure. Axe from doing his thing. And they're probably not looking for you, they're looking at Axe. So it's very likely that uh, you can catch him off guard and just blow him. So this should pretty much be because yeah. you got three items, I guarantee you got like. I mean, check PA. Though. She probably only has one item. Nature of heroes, Sven's gonna farm fast in PA, but PA kinda wants to win her. That's Aegis Pop. The enemy is yeah. It's really quick. Pay attention. No, we need to leave, I hate that. Whatever, I need to stop it. Nice, nice. Um, I guess you could just probably tank this tower. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. So, you do a lot of good things. I noticed, like, you're really good at last hitting. Good at grid with your stacking. So many times I see Sven's. So they got the Helm of the Dominator, they put their creep there, and they never touch it. <laughs> so, like, that was really awesome. You did the mid, mid fighting alchemist. He stacked it. I love stuff like that. <laughs> uh, just a couple of, like, I think there were a couple situations where you probably could have pushed harder for the game. Get right. tier one. It's kind of hard with the yeah, alchemist cool. just because he got not someone you could easily push down because of his uh, gold and also his acid spray. Definitely in other things, the and there's a thing where, as a Sven, you can confidently, when the other team's all dicking around bot, like fighting your team, you can confidently uh, be in between their tier 1 and tier 2 for the three player. Because, as you saw, only Alchemist was there to come back and stop. And it, he wasn't able to kill you. Middle tower has fallen. That's where it comes down to, I think. It's just the only way I can get away with um, kind of things. Just a couple, like, I think there was a couple situations where um, Sven, it's, it's very effective if you jump into the back lines of the fight. Because, right. okay. like, for support, yeah. like, the lion, he's gonna be in a little bit of the back lines. Just, you just wanna be in, like, the fray of it. And when you have a blink echo saver at 20 minutes, you just burst him down and do this forever. But, yeah, and exactly. at that point, they don't have great ways to stop him doing it. So. <laughs> Sorry, um, that's just one of the things to look out for is jumping into the back lines to kill the supports or any of the heroes that can really disrupt you. It's really pretty much just lie in this game. Yeah, for sure, yeah, no, that makes sense because I, I probably was guilty. No. I, I can't be guilty of just jumping in and just going straight to the first hero I see rather than yes. prioritize. Exactly. Because and especially when, uh, with this lineup, you had, it was your axe and pudge were initiating usually first for you, and right, they both sure. have pretty hard lockdown. Like that hero. 
the rest yeah. of your team is going to be probably hitting that hero. Like, yeah. <laughs> your yeah. god strength on top of it, I mean, sure, it'll get the kill, but the team could probably finish it off without you, and you going into the back lines where they might not be looking. You definitely, like, turn the edge of the fight, so. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, I have so, to say, that was, that was a lot of help. No, that I'm, I'm guilty. Uh, definitely guilty for poor trades. That's something I need to work on, and uh, just kind of, yeah, uh, picking my targets and picking when to fight. I, I probably, there's a couple occasions there, I probably, where, oh, where I would have, instead of pushing that, like, a tier 2 tower, I would have probably went back to the jungle or just lane. And that's um, one of the things we didn't get to go over in this game was, you, we, we were in a situation where you were farming the lane and the hard camp near your lane really well, but if they yep. had been contesting you and stuff, uh, jungle yeah. efficiency was something we could have gone over, and that stuff, like... Uh, with Sven, you can definitely war cry to get the camps faster. You can definitely. Okay. I saw you were doing it perfectly fine. You were cutting the right trees to like a uh, choke point jungle to get to places quicker. Okay. And, sure. uh, yeah, you were doing really well with stacking and all that. And so I'm sure you definitely had a good grasp on it. But definitely, if you're in that situation where your team's falling behind, you're, you were contesting in lane and you have to catch up in the jungle, you have to be yeah. efficient with your power tre tread swapping, okay. your, your stacking yeah. that ancients. You, Usually what you want to do is if you start, so we're dire, if you start on the left, you want to, if you have a stack in Ancients, you want to work your way through the through the jungle, stack probably that last camp, it'll probably, or the last hard camp on the right, and then yep. clear that and then go uh, to the Ancients, so that way the whole jungle is cleared out, I think. Right, you just yeah. want to be efficient with your sense. map movements, you want to make sure that you're farming as fast as you can so you can come back as opposed to trying to fight and probably die. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Awesome. All cool. right. So I hope I did all right. Well, my first time coaching. Yeah, no, you did. That was that was awesome. No, yeah. yeah thank you so Thanks much for this. It's uh, it's good for no, me too. No, no, so thank you.